Three Franklin families are making funeral arrangements. Yeah, three teenagers died in the crash over the weekend following what police are calling a street racing riot. WSMB's Lydia Fielder talked to one of those families. A 2015 Chevy Camaro was speeding away from police after they broke up a street racing meetup. That car then went airborne, crashing over the railroad tracks behind me, killing all three teenage boys inside. We talked to the family of one of them. I didn't even get to say goodbye. Friends and family of Jonathan Johnny Bravo filled his living room Monday afternoon, surrounding his older brother Manuel in support during this time of suffering. He was a good kid. He, he, he obeyed our parents, but I'm assuming that's what, you know, being having straight parents makes, you know, a kid go really rebellious. Manuel says his brother would usually tell his family when he was going out. This time instead, he snuck out the window to go to a car meetup. I would have discouraged him. And if he, he really wanted to, I would have driven him. I would have driven him up there. Metro Police say the crash was not captured on any police recordings, but this is video from an MMPD helicopter breaking up a similar event in May, the same way they might have Sunday. Nothing but a bunch of idiots go up there. But you know, I get it. Teenagers are young. They want to they want to try things. Manuel says the boys might have been racing another car when police tried to stop them on Powell Avenue. And uh, that one thing led to another. Now they're gone. All three teens went to Centennial High School, a place where Manuel says Johnny loved donning designer brands. I'm wearing his shoes right now, uh, Jordans or something. I don't keep up with shoes like he did. Johnny was a good kid. Tonight, Johnny's friends and family will gather in his backyard for a memorial bonfire. You can find links to GoFundMes for funeral expenses for all three teens in our app. In Nashville, I'm Lydia Fielder, WSMV4.